Hi everybody, how you doing? It's me, I'm back with just, just like Grandma's and then some with Helen Ann. How you guys doing? I know it's been like forever since I did a video and I do apologize uh, with COVID and everything and just feeling kind of down and uh, going back to school and stuff, so I'm in school now. But I thought I would share with you this recipe that my cousin Laura sent me uh, because I was looking for a recipe that was vegetarian, vegan, and that you could make it gluten-free and all that stuff for an Italian party I was going to. So she sent me a recipe for lentil meatballs, meatless meatballs. So. That's what we're going to make today. That's the original recipe. I'm going to share with you also a few other recipes that I made out of the recipe as well. Okay? So, first of all, spinny spinny. Okay, and I am recording this on my phone, so <laughs> sorry when you can't see anything. So, what you're going to need, you're going to need, like I am actually doubling my recipe, this recipe. So for a single recipe, you need eight ounces of mushrooms trimmed and cut like this. Okay, they're just like little diced. <clears throat> so you need that and that's about three cups. So actually in my bowl, I actually have, let me show you, I actually have six cups there. Okay, and you also need one small onions cut about the same and since I am doing double the recipe <clears throat> I need two cups and what I used to actually cut my mushrooms and my my onions as you see is this beautiful little contraption that makes life really easy so you just go like this and you can go like that, and there's two, well, pretty much two cups. <laughs> so, so all of this here, actually, let me get this all this out, all the goodness out. I preheated my pan on high. Now it's a little bit too high because I'm smoking over here. Really smoking. <laughs> which is okay I'm going to actually put my onions in here there we go and I'm going to use my scraper here to get them all in okay and I'm going to put my mushrooms in there as well get them all in there and as you can tell, I did not put any oil in the pan because actually the recipe calls to not put any oil in it, okay? Because as the mushrooms cook, of course, water comes out, so. So I'm just gonna do that. And as well, in this pot right now, I need three cloves of minced garlic and well I'm cheating a little bit today and I'm going with it's already done for me so with this all I do scoop in there that looks about like one <laughs> the scoop one two and three so that goes right in there, which is perfect. And I'm going to mix this all up now because we are really smoking. Now I did turn this down because I had my pan too hot. And I'm not going to fib about it. I did. I had my pan too hot, okay? I really did. Okay, but it's looking really good. 
I'll actually, I'll bring you over and show you. Oh man, can you ever smell the garlic? Mm, 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 mm. And I love garlic, so hey, it's good stuff. Okay, so this is, hopefully you don't get fogged up. So this is what it's looking like right now. And as you can see, they're already cooking down with the juice and everything going there, which is awesome. So I'm just going to keep on making sure it doesn't stick or anything. So that's going to be there. Okay. Next on the list. Actually, I have everything written right here. What I need in it. Okay. And I need to preheat my oven to 750. Uh, 370. Sorry about that. Which I'll do that now. So it's all ready and raring to go. So now, what I need is one cup, because that still has to do its thing, one cup of cooked brown rice. Now, I have just cooked this, so I need two cups, so that's one, put that in there for now, and there's my two, there's my two cups, perfect. So that can just sit right there for the moment, okay? So this here is my two cups that I need, but for the original recipe, it's only one cup, okay? And I will attach a link to this video of where the recipe actually came from, and so you can use it as well. Because it is not my recipe. I am just showing you what I did with it. Okay. So this is looking beautifully. I'm going to let it keep on doing its thing in there. Okay. Also, what you need is, since I made this before, I already had tomato paste. And since I am doubling it, I need, let's see, original recipe calls for two tablespoons. So I need four tablespoons for my recipe. Because I'm doubling it, remember? So I'm just going to put that right in here. So that's one, two, three, and four. Get it all out there. That is perfect. That goes in there. So I still have a little bit left over for another time. And now I need natural yeast. This is natural yeast. And where's my tablespoon? Natural yeast, for the original recipe, you need one tablespoon. Okay? And since I'm doubling it, it's two. And it just, it's just little flakes. I'll actually, I'll show you. See, it's just little flakes. It's really good, actually. I make um, cheese out of it. So that's one. And there's two in there. So we have that in there. Now we need oregano. A teaspoon of oregano. Okay, so this is my oregano. Actually, I just picked my oregano up today. Because I went out. Go figure, right? My goodness, I know, weird. Okay, and now we need a teaspoon of, believe it or not, onion powder. I know we put onions in it, but they still want onion powder, so we're going to go with it. So I need two teaspoons of this, since the original recipe only calls for one. There we go. That goes right in there. So there we go. And I forgot about salt going in there. The recipe calls for sea salt, but I am going to put in Himalayan salt. And it is a quarter of a teaspoon for one recipe. So I'm actually going to put in Surprisingly, I'm going to put in the two 
teaspoons, or the half a teaspoon, sorry, half a teaspoon. That's way too much salt. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. So right now, I'm actually going to mix this up to get all this done. I still need to put a little bit more stuff in here. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. I still have to throw that rice in here too, which I'll do that as soon as I get the rest of these spices in here. Mmm. It's smelling good over here. I'm telling you, it's smelling good. Okay. And now I need pepper. Black pepper. It's my black pepper. I forgot about the black pepper. And you need an eighth of a teaspoon. So an eighth of a teaspoon, an eighth of a teaspoon is a quarter of a teaspoon. And that's in there. Ta-da! Dun, 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 dun. And now I'm going to put my rice in there. Okay. My rice in there. And I am going to mix this all up. And the last thing that I need to add to this is a quarter of a cup of, they call for whole wheat flour. That's what they call for. Um, but I'm using gluten-free flour. So I have a half a cup, a quarter, sorry, a quarter of a cup of whole wheat, or I mean, a half a cup of gluten-free flour. And I also made some uh, breadcrumbs, gluten-free breadcrumbs. Because <clears throat> you need that for your recipe too to make your meatballs. So I actually added a quarter of a cup of that with my flour. Okay, so I'm going to show you what this looks like right now before I add the flour. Okay, before I add the flour. So this is what this looks like right now. To me, it looks really good. And now this here is the mix. The flour and the... Get in there. The flour and the breadcrumbs. I put that in. I'll get the rest of that. And you're going to need a half a cup of breadcrumbs for when you roll them. Okay? So I'm going to make sure I get all of that in there. And I'm going to mix that around. Get it all in there and incorporated, looking good. Try not to make a mess. <laughs> Which, you know, you're cooking. And it is a double recipe, so. Get in there. And it is really good looking. I'll show you it in just a minute. I just want to make sure I get all this flour and breadcrumbs combined in here. It is beautiful. <clears throat> okay. And yes, I did make a bit of a mess. Hey, that's okay. Just gonna take that over there. Get these remnants off my burner. Silly me, you know. There we go. Get that up there. Get my spoon in there. Okay. Now, since I have the flour in here and it is, it's cooked, I'm going to show you it. The next step to this, here's your beautiful, right? The next step is to put it on here to cool for 10 minutes before you do the balls. And while we're doing that, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Okay? I am going to put... Most of this mix on here, 
but I'm going to keep some in my pan. That should be about enough. Okay. And I'm going to switch things here and put you over there because I'm going to make a dip. Yeah. These are one of, this is one of the things that I made out of this mix. So I'm just spreading it out so it can kind of cool hopefully quicker than normal. And I will actually show you what it actually looks like right now as soon as I get it all smoothed out. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Oh my goodness, I forgot to put the lentils in. It's not done yet. How could I forget to put the lentils in? Oh my goodness. I can't believe I did that. So these are the lentils. See, that's what happens when I get too busy. And honestly, I'm only using one can of lentils in here. It should be two. But I forgot what I was doing. So I'm taking all of this off here now. Putting it back in the pot. See, I make mistakes too. And I am totally fine with that. And I even had it written down, didn't I? Yes, I did, but I had it up higher. Well, our oven's ready for when that stuff's ready. Okay. Oh, my goodness. And I, you know, it's okay. I am going to be posting this video. I do make mistakes. I am not perfect by no means. Okay. So now I'm going to mix all this up again. <laughs> and get the lentils mixed in there. <clears throat> we'll see how this looks once I get this all mixed. And it does call for one can for the recipe. And I'm just squishing them all over the place. But I'm only using the one can because I don't have the other one ready. I do actually have two cans of them. So I could open the can and do that, but I'll put those in here. And this is really sticky. Honestly, it is. Okay. <clears throat> so that's much better. Trying to get it all mixed up in here. But I would put the lentils in when you put in the spices. Okay? That's when you put in the lentils. <clears throat> and actually, I think that looks really good. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like now with the lentils in it. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. But here we go. That's what it looks like. Adds a little bit of things to it, which is really good. And now, I'm going to let it cool. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. And that there should... in here. Not much though. There we go. Put that back in there. I'm going to let this do its thing. Let it get cooled again. Let it sit there for about 10 minutes. <clears throat> okay. And I'll show you what it looks like. 
And like I said, I am not perfect. I do mess up recipes. But hey, they're always fixable. Like, really. So this is what it looks like. And this is what I have left in this pan here. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make that into taco meat. Yes, taco meat. I will add on here a link, or uh, the recipe for homemade um, taco seasoning, which I already have in here. I already got that all together while I was waiting. Because with the, the homemade one, this one here, it only calls for a half a cup of water. Okay? A half a cup of water. And I forgot to grab my half a cup. Measuring cup. Okay, so I'm going to put in a half a cup of water in there. Half a cup of water. I'm going to mix it all around. I'm going to put that back on my burner. Because actually, we're going to make this into a dip. It's really good. Now, this is going to have to cool before we finish the dip. So I figured by the time this is done, the other thing will be done. But, you know. Okay, so I'm just adding this right here. Right on there. Now, I did do, I did this for the, the party, too. I made this actually into a dip. And I tell you, it was delicious. Beautiful. And I even actually made it yesterday with just chickpeas. I mushed up some chickpeas and put some spices in it and everything. And, uh... Did the same thing, and man, that was good. It had a kick to it and everything. Oh, delicious, I'm telling you. So, I'm going to show you this. Show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to put it in the container and let it cool. So, this is what this looks like. You know, I'm going to turn that off. It looks really good. It looks very, very, very good. And I'm just going to take this here, take a little sample. Mm. Yummy. Woo! Kick to it. It does have a kick to it. So I'm only doing a little one. <clears throat> so, this here goes right in here. And I am going to soak my pan. Yeah, that looks really, really good. And we're going to be putting um, there's going to be a mixture of sour cream. It's actually going to be um, vegan sour cream and cream cheese um, there's going to be some mayonnaise some spices and some goat cheese as well as um, non-dairy cheese on top but this has to cool okay so I'm just putting water in my pan just to soak up all that goodness and I'm actually going to put this in the fridge to cool down. So hopefully it'll be ready. Um, so just give me a sec and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. How's everybody doing? <laughs> okay, so I put that in the fridge and I got set up for our next adventures. So I also made stuffed peppers with this. But they were the little ones. But I decided to do big ones today. I'm only doing... One whole pepper, okay? So I did put all, olive oil around it just to uh, help, you know, things from sticking and that kind of thing. And I do have gloves because it is ver a very, very sticky mix. And I don't really want to stick it in my hands. 
but what actually does help is to put a little bit of olive oil on your hands. Okay, so I'm doing olive oil. Ah! Okay, so I'm going to take this here, and I'm coming over here, and I'm getting some of that mix, and I'm just filling it. That's it, just filling it. And yeah, it is going to pop over a little bit. They weren't the best of peppers that I picked up, even though they're in a package, you know, but that's okay. Okay. And it is a lot of mix. Well, I did double it, so. <clears throat> okay. So, there we go. So that is another meal you can make out with this. Make with this. <laughs> okay. Now, the recipe says to use a tablespoon, okay, to make your meatballs. One tablespoon for a meatball. So, the single mix will make a lot of meatballs, okay? And like I said, it is a very sticky mix. So, and this is why you need your gloves because there we go I got a little meatball and I'm going to put it in my breadcrumbs and just gonna mix it all up and coat it try to coat it evenly shimmy it around if you need to and there we go our meatball so I'm gonna make a few of these and then I thought of another thing that I could do with this recipe last night, or yesterday I should say, and that was to try to make a meatloaf, okay? This is an addition to what I thought I was going to be sharing, okay? I wasn't planning on doing meatloaf. I wasn't. But I thought, you know, came to me. And actually, there is, I got to tell you what I did with the dip that we're going to be making. When I ran out of uh, tortilla chips, I still had about this much dip left. So what I did do, <laughs> I made some pasta, and I turned around... And I put that in it for the sauce. So it was a cheesy, a cheesy, be beautiful sauce. I'm telling you, it was gorgeous. I loved it. It was just so nice. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just finish as many of these that I'm going to be doing, and I'll be right back, okay? Let's see if I can get that without turning it off. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so I made 12. I made 12 of them. And the rest of it I'm actually going to make into, if I can here, into a loaf. Hopefully. I'm going to use my parchment paper here and bring it over top of each other. I'm just taking a look at my pan to see how big it is. Bringing it over. Okay. Aha! There you go. And I'm going to put it in my pan here. I'm going to squish it out a little bit. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to take these off my hands now. Come on, off you go. Very good. So that's all done. That'll be going somewhere else. So, this here, I'm going to show you, is what I'm doing the meatloaf. So, I'm actually going to put on top of this a little bit of spaghetti sauce. Okay. I know normally you put ketchup on it, but 
I would put barbecue sauce on top, but <clears throat> it's a new can. I'm all out of my, uh, the stuff I already made. I use that, all that stuff for the party, so I'm all out of that stuff. So that's okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of spaghetti sauce on there. I did oil this with olive oil, and I put a little bit of the breadcrumbs down at the bottom. Okay? I'm just doing this. There we go. Just add a little bit more to it, just to... I want to make sure it stays moist and, you know, like a... There we go. And actually, I'm actually going to put a little bit on top of the peppers, too. Just a little, not much. Just to give it a little bit of oomph. There we go. That's good. Now, what I actually am going to do, I am going to take some of my... Um, that one doesn't have a pull slap, pull tab to pull it with. So this here is uh, goat cheese. I'm going to put a look if I can get it open. I thought I had it. I guess not. Sometimes they are very tricky. There we go. There. Now I got it. We got it, I think. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. And I'm actually going to take my peeler, and I'm actually going to make thin slices of it, like this. And I'm actually just going to put one on top of each of the peppers, just to give it a little bit of oomph. And I might throw some on top of the loaf, too. So I got one, two, we'll say three. There, put three slices on that. Okay, now I'm going to put all this in the oven at the same time. Um, it's supposed to cook for 20 minutes, so I'll be back in 20 minutes. Hey, did you think... I forgot about the dip. No, I didn't. So, here I have um, non-dairy chive and onion dip. Since it's only a small one I'm doing, I only need half of this. So, I'm just going to... I'm putting it in my KitchenAid, my blender. I'm going to get half of this out, hopefully. So that's in there. And now I am going to be using this is the non dairy dip. Oop. I'm going to be putting the rest of that in because I only used a half last time, too. So I'm just going to put that all in there. So that's done. That's out of there. It's perfect. I think I might. Uh, well, you know what? I'm just going to put the whole thing in there. Just put it all in. Why not? There we go. It's all in there. Yeah, no, I don't have to worry about it. Okay, and I'm going to take some... Mayonnaise. Miracle Whip, whatever you want to use is fine. And I'm just going to put one... I'm going to go three. Three big spoons. Okay. <laughs> and I am going to be putting spices in here too. I am going to be putting, this here is smoke paprika. And I, that last, I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon in there. Just because.
because it's very strong. And I'm going to put some Greek seasoning in there. I'm going to put a teaspoon in there. I think uh, maybe a teaspoon and a half. And I'm going to mix this all up. Till it's all combined and really, really nice. And I got our mix. It's out. It's nice and cool. It looks totally amazing. I'll show you. See? Beautiful. And this is actually... Close. That's all our mix in there. That looks good. Sorry, I'm using my phone and not my um, my video camera. I cannot find what I did with the stand because I haven't used it in so long. So, well, I got some spaghetti sauce boiling over here. The best part. Mmm. 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 Ooh, very yummy. Turn that off now. There we go. Close you down. Move you over that way. Mm. Really yummy. All down inside there. There we go. And it is this is more than I would normally put in here, but hey. Tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. I'm actually making this on Tuesday, so hopefully it'll be uploaded tonight. If not, Happy St. Patrick's Day for tomorrow. And this is my treat for tomorrow for St. Patty's Day. I'm going to be having my own little party. You know, you got to do that kind of stuff. Absolutely, positively. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get all that stuff off of that spoon. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, so that is beautiful. Now. Mm. Now, of course, we need salsa, and yes, I'm using a can or a bottle of salsa. Um, I didn't get a chance to make my own this time, but that's okay. This is awesome, <clears throat> and plus, it was on sale. Well, it was cheaper. So I'm just adding that on top of there. And you can heat this up if you wish. <clears throat> so it's it's a little bit hot. Which I do like it that way. Okay, now this is um, goat cheese crumble. It's almost like feta cheese, but it's goat cheese. Okay. I'm just going to sprinkle some of this on there. Because it is a dip, you know. And I do have some... Um, vegan, non-dairy actually, non-dairy mozzarella to put on top too. So we're just doing that there. There we go. And that's beautiful. So this here is the mozzarella. And I'm just going to put a little bit on there. There we go, and that's ready. And this is the, the non-dairy cheese that I'm using. Okay, so I'm going to show you what this looks like. It is beautiful. So this here is our dip. So now I'm just going to clean up a little bit, and once that comes out of the oven, I will be back. See you in a few minutes. Hi everybody, we're back! 
and everything's done. These are our meatballs and our stuffed pepper and our loaf. So this is what I got here. A little bit of everything. And I already ate some of the dip because it was so good. I got to have some. So, yeah. Um, this is... I like... I'm really curious about this... Uh, this loaf. Because I... I figured it's going to taste like the other stuff, but just be on the safe side. Mmm. Well, that's really good. I think it would be really good with, um, with barbecue sauce on top of it. It's really, really good. And of course, our, our meatballs. I made some sauce. Heated up some sauce to put with it. Mmm. Tastes just like the meatloaf because I put the spaghetti sauce on top. And of course we have our delicious pepper. Pepper. Yummo. Mmm. Really good. Mm-hmm. And I did already try the dip, but I'll try it again just because it's really good. I should have put it in a different container, but it's really good. No. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. Um I'll see what else I can do. And with this recipe, you could probably put it on top of pizza too. Anyways, I'm just about out of time <laughs> on what I have left on my phone, so keep being creative in the kitchen. Let me know below if you want other recipes like this that make a multitude of things, but let me know below, okay? See you later. Keep on being creative in the kitchen. Bye!